all summer, those blooming porch pots, they're sort of the gateway to your doorstep, right? And they can keep on carrying that spark of life to the front walk long after the flower beds are faded and gone. Front pots can be your holiday greeters. It's all about what you put in them. Tara Mayoros has some ideas for us. It's great to see you. Welcome to Studio 5. Thank you. Thank you for having me again. So how are you approaching fall pots? It's different, right, than you would approach a spring or a summer pot. Yes. So these are the full fall pots that, you know, were planted in September. And now it's that transition, like you talked about, yes. into the holidays. But, but these plants can still do okay outside. And so what I have done, or will do, and show you what to do, is... These it's, are amazing. It's an easy, thank you. It's an easy transformation of taking out the fall and just introducing some winter items and some holiday items before you fully embrace the evergreens and the ornaments and all that. So it's this time in between that I want to show you what to do for your Thanksgiving guests. Yes, you're embracing what's real and what's left of what's real and also yes. putting in some artificial touches. Before we get into that transition though, can we just pause and will you tell us <laughs> what you have piled and mounded into these gorgeous pots? These are showstoppers. These oh, are amazing, thank Tara. Thank you. What's in these? Okay, so first of all, I added holiday and the reason I added that instead of some of the fall grasses is because I will keep this into the holiday planters uh -huh. and keep this and then plant the evergreens around it. So we have the holly to start and then these are the um, ornamental cabbages which I love. Leftover from yes. the earlier fall uh -huh. plants. Yep. And these will winter over their biennial and if they're protected, they will winter over and, and stay until spring. I'm seeing, seeing some trailing grasses that look left uh -huh. over as well. Yes, the creeping jenny, that's a perennial. Uh -huh. Also, these grasses are a perennial. Now, the moms, most likely your moms don't look like this I anymore. Was say, those are fresh buys. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> My moms are sad. <laughs> yes. So, I wanted to talk about that as well. You could just cut those down and... Um, Put, put pine cones over the mums okay. or plant them in your yard okay. right now All right. before the, the soil freezes. Okay, and what's happening here with okay. these drilling pieces? So this is what I'm going to take out, is all of this kind of pompous grass uh -huh, that, that just screams fall. Okay. And we're going to, like I said, just start to introduce a little bit of winter. You're so smart to push us to forward thinking with like the holly, for example, like put in yes. now what will last later. This yes, like pompous confetti. grass. Yeah, yeah, it's like a party. <laughs> yes, that's exactly right. And so it is with flower pots, you want to utilize those pots all year long. Uh -huh. And so um, certain refreshes throughout the year keeps them fresh. Yeah, nice. So here we go, introducing um, some sticks that have a little bit of crystal -y now, here's the brilliance. snow on them. Here's the brilliance in that piece. In January, I will see icicles, but right now I just see a little sparkle. Yeah. Right? It kind of mm -hmm. works with the with the holiday mm -hmm. theme, the Thanksgiving to Christmas. Yes. Or you can, when you're um, pruning your trees, if you've mm. pruned your trees, keep those dead branches and stick those in there. Okay. Nice. <laughs> nice. Okay. So we're going to take out the pumpkins and introduce... Um, princess pine cones. Princess now, pine cones. Yes, these are these are the big, beautiful pine cones. They're huge. Yeah, <laughs> I love them. And so this is kind of introducing the holidays, but in subtle touches. In subtle touches. Yeah. But it's also fall. I mean, this this is when you harvest. I was going to say these. when you took out the pumpkin, I kind of cringe. Like, no, 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 the pumpkin still has a four week <laughs> life left, and he does. But these pine cones have an eight to twelve week lifespan. Right. So again, we're thinking ahead. Right. Exactly. And another thing is to put dowels on, you know, on the end of some pine cones, oh. and then you can stick those smaller ones in a pie for some height. Because it's not just the lushness of these arrangements. I mean, it is. But the height, I think, is a wow, especially if it's going, yes. you know, flanking a door, for example. Yep. That becomes the kind drama. Of that. It's the all drama. about the drama. Yeah, it's almost like a border <laughs> to the door. Yep. The doorway. Another thing is to flock some pine cones. Now, you can you can buy them already done like this or flock them yourself. I'm a fan of the flock. I've been here and shown you mm -hmm. how, I have, how I've done some of this before. Mm -hmm. Or even if you like a touch of gold or any color, spray paint some pine cones. But it also just adds another kind of fall, kind of holiday, kind of where we are at right now. 
you're the putting, in between. You're putting a lot in there. I mean, we are grouping. I mean, and I kind of go overboard. Have, no, no, and you have in the to. best of ways. And I should ask the Princess Pine Cones. Where are you sourcing those? So those you can get them online. They're okay. pretty expensive on Amazon. Um, I've seen them at craft stores or flower shops. Okay. So I work with with wholesalers to get these yeah. <laughs> that harvest them. But yeah. um, you can. I have seen them around. Even even craft stores have them. But but you only need when a they're this big, they're yeah. usually at flower stores. And you only need a few. And like <laughs> you, you do. said, a yes. great replacement for those once they start to fade. Exactly. So yes, what once again, cut down the mum, yeah. stick it right on yeah. top of where the mum was. Perfect. But still so, a little bit of green, yep. still a touch of life and living. Exactly. It looks like just a Thanksgiving in a pot is what it looks like <laughs> with the lovely bounty. Yep. Bounty, yeah, the <laughs> lovely tonal colors. Um, any other tips for us in terms of care? How are we caring for these, knowing that there is a little bit of life still buried there in there is. and tucked in there? So I think you could get away with every several few days with the colder weather mm -hmm. is is watering these and. Um, yeah, like I said, you could leave the cabbages in and plant evergreen around them mm -hmm. or plant them in your yard mm. and they will come be there in the spring well, in I, a protected area. I loved the before. I didn't think there was anything wrong with what was happening. <laughs> before and after, But yes. it's so fun to it's see true. the transitional pieces that will help extend the life of these porch pots. So thank you, Tara, right. so much. How can we contact you for your professional services? Um, Instagram, Terracotta Pots. We are open for the first time in several years to new clients Great. locally. So contact us. Again, it's Tara with T-A-R-A, -A, like my <laughs> My name, Terracotta Potts. People will be excited to hear they can get on your <laughs> client roster. That's Thank rare. You. It's been full for a long it time. Has, so yes. we'll link you to our Instagram from our website too. Thank you okay, for teaching us you. today.